We're here with Louis Mercier. Louis, comment ça va? Et ça va très bien et toi? Excellent. Now, Louis, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. You have been an actor. You're from Montreal. You're yes. now working in Toronto. Definitely. Tell uh, tell the audience who's not familiar with your work a bit about what you've done. Um, recently, I've been lucky to star in a feature film called Karma. It was produced by Rage Film House, and I hear there's a lot of unhappy workers there. Mm, no, actually, everybody was pleased with the work and with the feature film because. It was Rage Film House first feature film. Right. Presently they're trying to produce other feature films. But nobody's angry there. Nobody's angry. Okay. Everybody's pleased. Well Excellent. pleased. Excellent. Okay. And uh, yes, we shot it in October. Mm -hmm. Three weeks in October. And presently the director is with this staff editing it. And we should have um, a rough cut by December, end of December, and it should be out in the festivals in uh, springtime. Excellent. Now, what was your role in this? Well, I played a very interesting part in it, and my character name was uh, Pint. And basically... A small character. No. It was... What? It was a big character. What okay. you say? How can I have a small no, character? No, it's a, a small-sounding name, is what I'm saying. Well, it's no. It's not the size of the role. It's yes. No, no, no. Actually, this time, I was fortunate and happy. Let me tell you, it's been a long way. This time I had um, a principal part in it, and I was fortunate and lucky to have it. And Pint, what the story of him within the feature film, he's sort of like a knucklehead kid mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the hood. Which but, hood would that be? Uh, any type of hood, you just name okay. it. And he's, he's there, and that's me. Hey. <laughs> Cool. So uh, you had a great time working on this. Yes, yes. And you, uh, you told me one time about a project in Haiti. Yes. That's where your background is. Tell yes. us a bit about the, the project and what it means to you. Um, the project is very dear to me. Actually, it's a dream of mine to go back to my home country because, yes, I was born in Haiti. And to go back there and do a, a film, it would be very fulfilling for me. And also... Once again, we haven't had um, a Haitian film. Well, yes, we did have films from Haiti, uh, but they all spoke about uh, voodoo and stuff like that. It would be nice to have Haitian films that have a comedy twist to it or um, you know, a romance or anything besides the voodoo stuff. Right, because join the multifaceted avenues of the country. Yes, definitely. And presently there's a project that is being uh, in the works. Uh, it's called uh, How to Make Love. No, not that one. Uh, the Taste of Young Woman. I was about to make, I, I was about to I say. I rented that at a stag once. No, it wasn't no. that one. Okay. I was about to say How to Make Love to a Nigger Without Getting Tired. But it's right. not that one. It's from the same writer. Yeah. But uh, eclectic uh, compilation. Yeah. Of, uh, there you go. Here. There you go. Eh. Well, listen, Louis. I know. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not finished. <laughs> and uh, this time around, he's doing hot, uh, the taste of young woman. So be be yeah, sure to check it out. Okay. No, it's okay. Be sure to check it out. You know, if I'm not in it, still check it out. Okay, uh, we might see our last guest at the video store renting that one, but uh, no, it, it sounds interesting, and uh, we'll be Definitely. looking forward to it. Now, uh, like I was saying, we're very honored to have you here. We know you don't do a lot of public appearances. Uh, I wanted to ask you, there happens to be a very big fan of yours in the audience who would like to ask you a question. Just go ahead, shoot. Excellent. Uh, come on up, please, and uh, ask Mr. Mercier your question. Oh, you're going to get out there, Oh, um, I'm very well, thank you. And it's been a uh, long time since I haven't seen you. This must be Kazoo, eh? Hi, Kazoo, yeah, how are you? Yeah, lady we pulled out of the audience. Hey, uh, she hey. heard a lot of stuff about you and uh, <laughs> came up here. All right, so, uh, Louis, the other thing we want to know, in all seriousness, is uh, you do a, um, well, for lack of better vernacular, a wicked Samuel L. Jackson. Now, he's one of your influences. Uh, give us the scene from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> This, by the way, folks, will be I, exclusive to Pepper <laughs> Scott Web TV. Yes, eh? Exclusive, let me tell you. Actually, I need to be really honest. I've been doing those Samuel L. Jackson impersonation, and honestly, it's a bad, bad taste. I've been having bad reviews. Therefore, 
I'm going to skip myself out of this Can one. Just give us a little bit. You're, you're with an audience. Uh, we, they, they've come here all night. They've been waiting to see this. Yeah. Now, they know you're a fine actor, but they've also come here wanting to no, hear it. No, 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 no. I don't want to be banned from Hollywood, <laughs> let me tell you. So I'll pass out on this one. Okay, what's uh, coming up in the future for you? Well, hopefully after Karma, you know, I'm expecting Spielberg to be calling. You know, he got to call, right? So if not, John Singleton or whoever. If not, I'm still in town, you know, working hard, hustling here and there, trying to make it on top. Okay, well, we wish you all the best of luck. Thank you very much Thank for joining you. us. And Thank we'll be you. looking for a lot more of you in the future. Yes, and make sure to watch Karma, eh? And uh, what's your favorite internet TV station? Gots to be Pepper Scott TV, Web TV. You know, I'm saying, you know, to have me on it, it, it gots to be my favorite. You can't beat that. All right, Louis, thank you. We'll be right back after this. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Louis Merci, and today you're watching Pepper Scott Web TV. Well, that is amazing. Pepper Scott.